Hey guys, six month update because I think the last update we had was at 11 weeks and then we went to the zoo. Here's Nat, by the way, because I think the only video she has been in was the zoo video and she's in her activity center, the genius idea that her dad had. Um, but this activity center was given to us by our neighbor and we absolutely love it. As you can see, she's just playing <laughs> on everything. She loves it. She's looking up at the TV, it's not on right now. But um, the seat right here, it spins around and there's different toys all over the place. And you can add your own things. Like I've added stuff here from one of her play mats and oh, she heard that. And she has severe toy ADD where um, she'll just go to the But everything. I don't think you can see her face because this thing is like in the way. But um, I might take her out in a little bit. So basically, a lot has happened in the past like four months, three, three to four months. Um, if you guys watched our, really, if you watched our 11 week update, we talked about her hemangioma and, um, was that better? I can see your face now. Um, we talked about her hemangioma and we just had her, um, cardiology or cardiologist follow-up appointment on Tuesday. Um, could we please just not? Because I don't think they can hear us. They can hear us. No, don't. Um, and the doctor said that she's doing really well. Um, there was no increase in dosage. I'm just going to take this one away because I don't like it playing. It's so loud. Um, but she, um, She's doing really well. There's no need for an increase in dosage. Um, he's basically trying to slowly wean it off by not actually weaning it off. So um, she had an increase in dosage after her first month because of her weight. And so because we've been seeing a lot of progress on it, um, there's no need to increase it anymore. If we do start to see it coming back, then we'll of course um, call him and he'll increase the doses, but she's been fine. Um, so she turned six weeks last Saturday. Months. Wow. Yeah. Six months, not six weeks. Holy goodness gracious. Um, <clears throat> six months last Saturday and my friend did a six month photo shoot with us and her. And, um, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted one of the pictures and I am just so excited to see the rest of them because we had her in some really cute outfits and I made some tutus. Um, I found it on Pinterest. I think it's from the Pinning Mama. Um, but there was a DIY no sew tutu tutorial and I was like, yeah, cause I don't have a sewing machine down here. And um, I wanted to make easy tutus for her and um, I did and they, they were fantastic. Um, she's very social. She loves everybody. She will smile at you. If you just look at her, if you go up to her and say hi, she smiles. I was hoping to have her out of this so that you could kind of see how big she is. Well, let's take her out then. You want me to take her out? Yeah, and I'll move it over there. All right, baby girl. Go. Whoa. Whoops. All right, now daddy can move closer. I have more here. That one's kind of been sucked on though. But look, she's like almost half my size. She's almost half my height and um, that's a little crazy. But we discovered at the cardiologist that um, she loves tissue paper. So I have tissue paper here. I don't, I don't know if she'll play with it, but she, um, when we had her down on the um, exam table, you know, they have the tissue that comes out for sanitary purposes and whatever. And she just started playing with it and making herself laugh and it was ridiculous. Um, so she loves to be vertical. She does not like to be on her tummy, right? You don't like tummy time. You would rather be running around right now. And um, she, uh, she can sit up on her own for a good amount of time. If she like coughs or sneezes, you know, she falls back or whatever. But um, we have her sitting up on the couch a lot. We have her sitting up on the floor with like 
the um, the boppy behind her in case she falls so she doesn't bump her head. Um, but we've got lots of blankets and cushions and everything for her. Um, let's see. If, you want to sit? You want to sit or you want to say hi? Because you didn't actually say hi to anybody. Can you say hi? Can you say hello? She kind of says mama. I mean, she actually does, but I think it might just also be the sound. I don't know. She usually doesn't say mama unless she's... Aggravated. Aggravated, frustrated, tired, whiny, you know, that kind of thing. But, I mean, she's, you know, we'll just let her do what, there we go. And I know she sees herself in the camera. She loves looking at herself in the mirror. And um, she knows what a selfie is too, because I'll hold my phone up to her with the camera and she'll just start smiling and she wants to grab it too. So, um... <laughs> I don't know. We're, we're going to try not to have her be on our cell phones or iPads or whatever. Um, I think in the future, though, we do want to invest in one of those leap pad, leapfrog things or whatever. Um, oh, she sees the one that you have. She's like, why don't I have that one? But we have plenty, baby girl. Look. <laughs> but, um, okay, so at our four-month um, update for her at the pediatrician they gave us the go-ahead to start solids with her and so um, we started with you know the pureed fruits and veggies I didn't add any rice cereal to it I didn't add any formula to it or anything and you know she did really well early on um, we didn't do it very often but lately with the babysitter we've been giving her like basically one meal um, for the day and after we had our six month appointment with the pediatrician um, he said that we could start trying to give her two a day and see how that goes um, I mean she's a big growing girl she's got two teeth already again if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter I posted a picture of her teeth she got her first two teeth Friday May 15th and I remember that because that's my dad's birthday um, but she started getting those teeth in May and um, she only has those two bottom ones, right? Right? And uh, I think she might be getting some more, and she's been a little cranky lately, um, acting like she's teething again. But we, uh, when we saw that she had the teeth, we were just like, uh-oh. <laughs> that means possible crying, possible waking up at night. Um, so that first night, I think when we... When she went to bed, she woke up once at like 3 in the morning. And we were like, okay, if she does do that, then we'll just give her a Tylenol the next night. So we gave her Tylenol four nights in a row after that, and she slept fine. Um, she didn't wake up at all. She's been sleeping nine hours a night for the past, I'd say almost three months though. Almost three months. Ever since the hemangioma on her lip healed. Yeah, so ever since we got the hemangioma under control and she was more like her normal self, um, she's been sleeping through the night, nine hours, mom and dad are happy. <laughs> um, so she typically goes to bed anywhere between 9.30 and 10, and wakes up anywhere between 6.30 and 7. Um, oh, that is so much drool. <laughs> yeah, we won't give her that one again, because I think that one is done. Right now, I'm going to do this one either. Um, she loves playing with toys. So we've had this one for a while. This came in a um, like a toy subscription box. Um, what is it called? Something Austin. Austin something. I don't know. I'll link it. I did a post on it. But she loves this little elephant. It's like it got a little jingle ball in it, and she'll she'll grab it like this, and usually she'll just stick it in her mouth. <laughs> I don't know, but it's nice and soft and cloth. And then um, Sophie, we have the plush. Oh, she's trying to tell you all about it because this is not my department, it's hers. What else, baby? You want this? Her Sophie giraffes. Um, I think I first heard about the Sophie giraffes from, from Rachel, and I couldn't remember what it was called, and I couldn't find her video, so I asked her. So I ended up buying the two-pack, the one with the soft plush that has the little jingle ball in it, and it also comes with the rubber ice one, which is back there somewhere. Um, and she likes to play with them both, but, um, 
you doing? Butter. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> um, but yes, she loves them. <laughs> Hi. She loves her daddy. She really does. Whenever she sees him, um, she just starts smiling. And she does this thing with her arms now where she'll just extend them like this. And it'll be like, ah, it, she gets so excited. Hi. <laughs> She's just so, like, uh, it's hard to believe that she's six months old because I feel like sometimes she acts a little bit older, but then I'm like, well, I don't want her to grow up because that's, that's way too fast. I can't even handle it. Um, but she's just been doing really well. Like I said, she's so social. She loves everybody. She loves playing with her dad's hair. <laughs> they do this every morning. So, like, our morning routine is that I'll wake up, and I'll get myself ready really quickly. And then, no, reverse that. I will get up and I will get her ready because she'll have some really stinky diapers in the morning. And so I'll get her ready and get her dressed and I'll lay her in the bed up against the pillows and TJ will watch her while I get ready. And um, she'll, just, she'll just play for like 15, 20 minutes. Um, she does this, this is what she does. And I can still sleep like this. Yeah. What are you doing, Nat? What are you doing? Look. Oh, for you must smack me. <laughs> oh yeah, we've gotten some really big punches <sighs> from her. But um, <gasps> no, the doctor said that she's doing really well. She's in the 97th <gasps> to 99th percentile for growth. Um, <laughs> she's just all around <gasps> super healthy, super happy. <laughs> She really never fusses at all, except if she's tired or if she's got a dirty diaper. You know, all of the the reasons why you would get fussy, um, even huh. as an adult. <laughs> um, but she, oh, she really doesn't nap too, too much huh. anymore, which kind of sucks sometimes. I mean, I can tell when she's tired, <laughs> but um, oh yeah, she loves to scream, too. She um, gets herself really, really excited, and she'll just go on ha! for like five, <laughs> five, ten minutes. But <laughs> see this arm thing. She's just amazing, and I wish you all like <laughs> meet her in person because you would love her. She's just the happiest little girl. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I also bought um, these soft play blocks. Again, there's a short video on Instagram. Um, this was a couple weeks ago. Um, they're the Baby Einstein blocks. I got them from Bye Bye Baby. And um, they there's a set of four. And each block has, you know, different pictures or a different theme to them. They're textured. There's one that has a mirror, the one that has a rattle. And then we just recently discovered there's one that has a frog on it. <laughs> but the frog leg, like you pull it out and it like vibrates the the block or whatever. And she's not strong enough to pull that. But um, yeah, we just discovered it. It's, if you have little kids and you have toys, <laughs> do you always know what those toys do? Because we discovered <laughs> like this thing, you push it and it makes music. But I didn't so discover da, da, that da, da, until da, 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 da. like a da. month after I had it. Da, I was like, da, da, oh, da, da, well, you push the button and it makes me like. Da, da, da. But um, yeah, I don't know. What else is there to update? I don't think anything else has really happened. Oh, in addition to the fruits and veggies, um, sometimes we'll give her pieces of what <laughs> we're having for dinner, just a little taste. Um, we, we had her try A1 steak sauce. That was hilarious. It was that was like a month ago or a month and a half ago. Um, she didn't hate it, but you know it's kind of tart-ish, vinegary. Um, we also bought those Gerber graduates puffs, the like the cereal things. Um, we sh we should get Cheerios too, but um, <laughs> she likes them. We have the blueberry Hi. ones, the apple strawberry ones. And the sweet potato ones. And sweet potato ones taste like kicks. They don't taste like sweet potatoes. But she likes them. The first time she had them, it was, you know, like, she's used to soft foods and everything. And this was like a, a hard, crunchy thing. And the look on her face was like, what is this in my mouth? What are you giving me? 
but she likes them a lot. Um, she's learning how to handle smaller foods to put in her mouth. She's almost got it. Um, she can basically do it with others. Um, are you getting tired? She is. Do you need another nap? Um, another thing that we have, all right, this is starting to hurt. Like, is that better? No, it's not. Your forehead is hurting my knee. Here, put her towel That sucks because I was comfortable. Okay, well, there you go. Okay, that's better, actually. Um, so we have her sitting right now in the Bumbo multi seat. Um, we had the original Bumbo for when she was smaller, but obviously she was a big baby, and so she grew out of that kind of quickly, and we didn't have the, um, the table tray that comes with it or that you can buy separately to go with it. Um, so TJ's mom got us the Bumbo multi seat, and basically what it is is like a, um, a booster seat. And this has the, you know, the Bumbo foam insert in it, but it has a table that comes with it that detaches from the back. Oh, look, she's doing that arm thing. <laughs> um, and the good thing about this one is it also has straps that are attached to the seat. So you can attach it to any chair that you want to. You can take it out to restaurants, which we have not done yet. Um, but we have it attached to one of our chairs in our kitchen. And so we'll have her sit there, put the tray on, and look, she's excited. <laughs> she's doing the arm thing. Huh? Um, but she loves that chair, you know, that she can sit in the kitchen with us, interact with us or whatever, and she likes it. It's comfortable. We also tethered one of her toys with some extra tool that I had from the tutus because it's a really small tray, so I think we're going to get a high chair with a bigger tray um, and just keep this one for, like, when we go out and everything because... I think the kids can grow into it up until like three years old or something. So we're going to get a lot of use out of it. We've already gotten a lot of use out of it. Um, she is in nine month clothes, um, six months, she's six months and in nine month clothes. So, uh, she's got plenty of nine month outfits, but her pajamas are six to nine months and nine months, but they are starting to get a little snug because she's been in the six to nine month pajamas since she was, I think, uh, 10, 10 weeks old, almost three months. She wasn't quite three months yet. Um, but she's just been growing very nicely, right, baby girl? And, um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm really excited that you guys got to see her today and that she's, that she's being very, very happy and she sees herself in the camera. I wish she'd talk more, but she's excited to see you. That's why she's doing that arm thing. Right, Nat? Right, Nat? Right? So, yeah. Um, sorry, TJ's not talking too much. I think he's tired. I don't know. <laughs> I had a rough night's sleep last night. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. Is there anything else <laughs> that you can think of? Oh, she's also in size 3 diapers. She's been in size 3 for about a month now. Um, again, we use the... Huggies Snug and Dry Plus from Costco, um, but these are actually the Little Movers Plus, and I like them because they've got, like, they call it the double grip strip, so, you know, the, the Velcro or, you know, the, the sticky that attaches the tab to the diaper, so there's two of them, basically, and um, it's helpful because she moves her legs around a lot. Um, she, she loves her feet. Um, you want to sit her down? I don't know if she wants to be sitting down. If she can hit my head, she doesn't mind it. Okay. <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, I don't think there's anything else that has happened. Um, she, I mean, she does this a lot. She's like, yes. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Anything else that you can think of, Teach, that's new? All the neighborhood kids love her. Yeah, well, everybody loves her. Who wouldn't love this? My goodness, she's a cutie. Um, some days, oh, her hair. Some days I can get it really tamed to where it's not sticking up, but she has got a couple pieces in the back that just, like, after her bath, it just kind of loves to poof up. But she's You're been, welcome. She hasn't really lost You're much welcome. hair. You're welcome. She's starting to... Um, you know, the back of her head, there's a, a little bit of a bald spot, but it's starting to come back. And, 
Um, I can't put her hair in a ponytail or anything yet. She has a nice mullet going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, you do. <laughs> but I don't put those headband bows on her head because she's got so much hair and it's so long that it's kind of hard to control it and she'll probably just rip it off anyway. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, I guess, I don't know, we'll probably do another update at nine months. Um, we are finally going to get her baptized. We're making a trip up to Maryland in August and um, my cousin is getting married and so we figured while we were up there, um, we'll go ahead and get her baptized at the church that we got married in. The reason why it's been postponed for so long is because we were dealing with the hemangioma in the very beginning and we wanted to make sure that it was under control before we took her anywhere, you know, made sure that she was pretty calm and back to her normal self, which she obviously is. So, um, one last thing, I have been going to the gym. Um, as you guys know, I gained quite a bit of weight with her. Um, I gained 60 pounds basically with her and I had never gained that much weight in my entire life. And for me, this whole losing the baby weight thing has been kind of a struggle. Um, you know, a couple self-esteem issues here and there. And the fact that she likes to eat. I mean, I do like to eat, but I, my appetite has kind of disappeared ever since I really don't eat that much more. Okay, I really don't eat a lot anymore. But um, I've been going to the gym with one of my friends at work. We go at lunchtime because that's the only time I have time to go. Um, and it's been going really well. I've been noticing a difference. Um, it's easier to exercise when you've got a friend to do it with you. Um, but I'm really happy that I'm kind of forcing myself to go and do this. And I do feel better, you know, after I do go exercise. I've been trying to eat better. I've been trying to eat breakfast. I've been trying to eat like a salad with my lunch and, and not have super big portions of food. And dinner time, and, well, dinner time. <laughs> it, it's not been easy, but um, I've been making it work. So I'm close. Not that close. Maybe, uh, let's see, like 15 pounds. I'd say 15 pounds away from my pre-baby weight. So basically after the whole Nutrisystem thing, that weight, I'm 15 pounds away from that. So it's a slow process and I'm pretty impatient with it, but I'm hoping that continuing to go to the gym two or three times a week will help with that. So I think you still look good. Well, thank you. TJ is very supportive. TJ is very encouraging too when it comes to this. And um, there's a difference between encouragement and truth. Okay. Well, it helps. It helps me. Um, but you know, just looking at this, I I wouldn't I wouldn't have done it any differently. You know, I'm happy to have gained the 60 pounds if it you know it meant having a baby as good as this one. Right, Nat? Right? Yeah. Right. She's gotten a little tired. So, yeah, I guess that's it. I mean, not really much has happened. If you guys have any questions for me, definitely, definitely put them in the comments below. Ask me on Instagram. Ask me on Twitter. Find me on Facebook. All of that good stuff. And um, I guess until next time, we'll see you later. I do post lots of pictures of her and us as a family. Um, I do post videos sometimes. You know, if she's done something really cute. Do you want to show really them the Mother's Day and Father's Day presents? Do you want me to go get them? I'll go get them. <laughs> oh, TJ wants to show off um, what he did for me for Mother's Day and what I got him for Father's Day. So, go get it. Go get it. Because you took this off and my knee's starting to hurt again. Go get it. Oh, my bone's cracking. That's all right. Yay, Nat! You wanna get up? You wanna get up? <laughs> she loves to stand. She, if she could run right now, she would. Like, she's like, I'm not doing this whole crawling thing. Let me just start walking, please. But she's very, very strong. Very, very strong. Right, baby girl? Right, baby girl? So, I was worried that TJ wasn't gonna do anything for my first Mother's Day. 
course, I'm so silly. But, um, so he got me a card. This, it says to mom. So obviously it's from Nat. And, um, so as you guys know, her room is all owl themed and I'm like totally obsessed with the owls with her. So TJ found this card and it ha it's like this humongous owl, right? Right, Nat? Look, it's a humongous owl. And so basically, he colored in like a little kid would um, for the bottom. It basically says, I'll love you forever, uh, your hoot, Nat. Because we called her our little hoot even before she was born. Right, baby? Let her rip it. She's not going to rip it. She might rip it. Yes. Um, and then for Father's Day, I was like, what do I get TJ for Father's Day? Because technically last year I got him a card and like a little Winnie the Pooh beanie baby for Father's Day. But I was like, you know what? We need family pictures up in our new house because we've only been in here for a year and a couple of months. Like a year and three months, right? So I worked very hard on this. I, I see Nat's even really excited about it. I took a combination of maternity pictures and her newborn photos and I created a really cute collage. I don't know if you guys can see this. I hope there's no glare, but, oh, no. <laughs> see, Nat's getting really excited about it. Ah, look, she's, but um, basically I have at the top, um, I have at the top our maternity photo, you know, and at the bottom us as a family photo. So it's, you know, all three I combined black and white photos with her newborn pictures and the day after she was born pictures and all of that stuff. And um, I just, yeah, I, I thought that was, you know, a really cute idea. And TJ loved it. So it now hangs on our wall right by the stairway to go upstairs. Um, but... And now I've got to spend 20 minutes centering it again. Well, it was, you're the one who wanted to take it off. Mm -hmm. But... Anyway, uh, I think that's it now. I know this is a really long update because we haven't updated in a really long time. And we both can talk a lot. And we do. We talk so much and I'm so sorry. <laughs> but baby Nat loved being a part of this little update and I hope you enjoyed her being a part of this update. So like I said, if you have any specific questions for us or just want to know more, just hit me up on here in the comment section below. Hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of that. Lovely love stuff. Anything. What? What? Anyway, what? we look now. Look. No, <laughs> look. What are you doing? Look. Say bye, guys. Can you say bye? Say we will see you later. Right? We will see you later. We will see you later. Can you see all she wants to do is jump up and down. All right. All right, friends. We will see you. <laughs> Say bye. Bye. Bye, friends. <laughs>